I would like to emphasize two general thrusts that our subcommittee is um, uh, centered around. Uh, the first would be, as in previous years, uh, silicon-based photonics. And we have uh, some interesting tutorials and invited papers on the topic of integrated photonics based on silicon, uh, which I would encourage people to attend, um, as well as some contributed papers that focus on emitters in silicon, uh, modulating devices in silicon, um, the whole range of um, devices that would lead to highly integrated silicon photonics. In a related area, we have two sessions uh, on integrated photonics for high capacity communications, both with invited and submitted uh, contributed talks. Uh, and these, fo these talks focus on circuits and devices for advanced modulation formats for telecommunications or terabit scale communications. The second a major area for our subcommittee is plasmonics and metamaterials, and we are happy to have a roster of excellent invited speakers and also uh, a number of excellent uh, contributed submissions on various areas of plasmonics, for example, on the topic of um, devices, active devices to be integrated on a plasmonic integrated circuit platform to control light or to perform functions such as uh, sensing. A relatively novel topic in this area is that of nano antennas, which are um, designed to couple light from free space or dielectric waveguides into plasmonic waveguides. And there are quite a few nice papers on uh, this topic of nano antennas that would be interesting. Would be interesting to see during the conference. Another session that I would like to mention is uh, the one entitled "Bioinspired Photonics." where we have a number of exciting uh, presentations on biomimetics, which is photonics inspired by biological designs, as well as using uh, photonics for diagnostics or uh, sensing. In addition to this, um, there are um, a couple of papers on quantum effect in plasmonics. One of them deals with preservation of squeezing um, upon transmission through uh, plasmonic media. The other one deals with the influence of quantum effects on um, surface enhancements in plasmonics, which to my knowledge has not been uh, calculated before. Another interesting and highly rated contributed submission is one where the modulation of coupling in a photonic lattice was shown to produce an effect uh, analogous to a Lorentz force or a magnetic field for photons. So that opens up possibly a new area in photonic crystal design. Overall, I am extremely happy with the program we have this year, and I think that the talks will be very interesting to prospective attendees.